it's time. From the Personal Liberty Digest Studios, where 20 bucks seems high for a Happy Meal, it's time for this week's Great Eight. And now, supersize this, Union Thugs, Ben Crystal. Yeah, for 20 bucks, you damn right I'm gonna have fries with that. <laughs> A Republican attempt to force Congress to abide by the Obamacare fraud has failed after a personal intervention by President Obama, meaning Congress has exempted itself from Obamacare. Ways in which the Democrats could suck more. Hmm. Nope, can't think of any. Maybe if they killed some... Oops. <laughs> Look, I get that the budget is tight, Florida Governor Scott, but your furniture is awful. <laughs> How is it possible in the Obama economy that none of these guys have jobs to go to? I thought everything was better. <laughs> Joe, what did we tell you about wearing your bib? Yes, even when you use your sippy cup. <laughs> No lapdog media questions about Benghazi in the wake of CNN's recent blockbuster report. Regime sources say the press conferences have been canceled because Jay Carney's mom won't let him stay out late on weeknights. <laughs> Benghazi was actually a Jeopardy clue earlier this week. Uh, I'll take game show hosts who should probably check under their cars for a thousand, Alex. A Alex? A Alex? Remember, NSA, you must frame your illegal wiretaps in the form of a question. <laughs> More fun with President Geography, who thinks that the ports of Savannah, Charleston, and Jacksonville are all on the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Go easy, though. This is the same guy who put his own home state on the wrong continent. <laughs> According to Abortion Barbie, she's never heard of serial abortionist Kermit Gosnell. That's so weird, because they were both built by the same company. <laughs> and Fox News announced they're moving Megyn Kelly to the 9 p.m. slot, prompting CNN hack Piers Morgan to tweet, quote, bring it on, unquote. Coincidentally, that's exactly what Cornwallis said just before Yorktown. <laughs> And that's your grade eight for the week, kiddies, for the Personal Liberty Digest. I'm Ben Crystal saying, Nadal Hassan wants to be his own attorney, huh? Fine by me.